Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I wanted to bring you guys along with me thrifting so that we can see what we can find in stores. Maybe it will give you guys some ideas on what you can look for at the thrift store or maybe just inspire you to check out the thrift store in general. It's always a really great place to find affordable, unique things. And if you're working on a room makeover and you wanna cut costs, this is always the best way to do it. I'm also bringing a bunch of stuff to donate because if I'm gonna potentially buy more things, I want to get rid of some stuff at the same time. I'm gonna be checking out a few different thrift stores today in different locations, that's usually how I do it. So if you guys enjoy watching and like coming along shopping with me, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and get to the store. So first stop is Value Village. I just dropped off some of my stuff and they gave me a 20% off coupon. So if you go shopping the same day you donate, you can get stuff even cheaper. All right, I'm headed right inside to one of my favorite sections, the framed art section. I love looking here for some vintage gold frames like this. You have to keep an open mind when you're looking at the frames here because sometimes the art inside can be distracting and it makes you not like it. But these four frames right here are absolutely perfect. You can get your own digital downloads. You can get your own prints elsewhere. Put them inside these gorgeous frames and you'll end up with some art that looks beautiful without costing a ton of money. Never skip by the vase section at the thrift store. I love finding big substantial pieces like this that might not be your favorite color, but think about refinishing them, painting them, look at the shape, look at the style, but look past the color and finish because that's something that can definitely change. The prices here are obviously amazing and as long as you have kind of an idea of what you can turn them into, it's always a good place to start. I absolutely love these candle holders. They're $1.99 each and I just love the shape of them. There's so many different candle holders in here, little trinkets, even something like this is so nice to hold jewelry, anything really small, maybe even use as a little soap dish. I really like to take my time in here and kind of go through each individual piece, look past things, pick things up, and really see the potential of each item. Let me know down below in the comments if you have a similar area of your thrift store that looks like this. This is kind of this convenient area where multiples or similar items are grouped together in these bags and sold for $3. It's so convenient. You can find jars, door handles, hardware. There's always really great stuff over on that wall. I love checking out this glass and dishware section because these items are really great for organizing. If you don't want to use a lot of plastic items, you want more high-end glass pieces to organize maybe Q-tips and bobby pins, small items. This area is a great place to look. This nice little glass dish is just $1.99. There's little spice canisters for $1.99. So keep your eye out for these little pieces with these lids. They're perfect for organizing and decorating your space. Look what someone donated. These are the cloud lights that I used in my niece's bedroom makeover. These were so cute on her wall. Let me know down below if you guys remember that. But they have them here for $2.99 and I got them for $12 originally. Okay, this hardware is probably one of my favorite things I've seen so far in here. Look how beautiful this door knocker is. $12.99, it's super heavy, feels really high quality. This is why sometimes going to the thrift store beats going to any other place. You'll find super unique, beautiful, one-of-a-kind pieces, and this would just make your door look stunning. I can't even get over these door handles. I always check out the baskets every time I'm here. These ones are really good because you can fit them inside of drawers and organize your space at a really great price. Now 
Now over to the furniture section. This area is totally lacking right now, to be honest. There's a sign outside that says you can't drop things off that take more than two people to carry, I guess because of, you know, social distancing. So there's not as many big items here. So I'm skipping past all that really, heading to the lamp section because I always find good lamps at the thrift store that still work. As long as you test them out at the little testing station, you're good to go. I'm always looking for lamps that have potential, things that you could even spray paint to be a different finish. I end up finding this amazing wall sconce that's actually a plug-in wall sconce. I think this would look really cool spray painted and it's only $4.99. Am I the only one looking at these placemats thinking, this could be a jute rug? I look at these placemats and think, let's glue them together, turn it into a cool rug. These look perfect, they're in great condition, and the little pack of two is $2.99 each. So I picked up some great things from this thrift store, but now moving on to the second one. This one's called Mission Thrift Store, and this place is amazing for furniture. The first one was lacking furniture, this one has it all, and I swear you could furnish your entire house in here. Like, how exciting. The prices are amazing, and there's so much to choose from. There are so many round tables here as well, and I was just looking for a round table like last week and bought a brand new one. So kind of kicking myself now because look at all these great options. This glass and rattan table was $50. How amazing is that? I love that table. All of these wood ones are perfect tables to paint or stain or, you know, change the finish of. I used to have a table like this and I painted all the chairs, painted the table white, and it gave it a brand new look. So if you're looking for new furniture, if you're a first time home buyer, if you're someone on a tight budget, check out thrift stores like this that have all of this furniture because these pieces are absolutely perfect. $40 for this glass coffee table, it's stunning. There's so many amazing furniture pieces in here that might just need to be reupholstered. They look in perfect condition. Maybe just switch a few elements out, but this couch is one of my favorites and it's only $80. $80 for a fancy, beautiful couch, that's unbeatable. That's incredible. I love that it has just one cushion along the bottom that really modernizes it. And even like a wing back chair like this, this is classic, it's traditional. Obviously the fabric needs to go, it's a little out there, but it just needs to be reupholstered. If you're ready for a project, these things would be perfect. This is the sleeper sofa for $100. Like that's incredible. I can't believe I've never been to this store before. There is so much amazing furniture. This bed is just so up my alley. I think this is such a beautiful twin bed. Solid wood, you could paint it. It would look amazing black. It would look amazing in light colors. It's $70 and I just think this is a timeless, beautiful piece. I also found a toddler car bed and you know, these can be pretty expensive in stores. This bed is $20. Wow, they also have a huge selection of bookcases and these are perfect for painting and turning them into built-in units. You can start with them as bases and kind of build around them and it will save you so much money. This one right here is just stunning. I would buy this in a second if I had somewhere to put it. I would paint it. I would change the hardware. How stunning is it? It's amazing. I love the paneling on the back, the details. Wow. Something like this would be so cute in a dining room, painted white, having some nice dishes inside. It's so cute. Okay, I think I skipped over the rugs too quickly because I'm kind of liking the one in the middle at the bottom here now that I see it, but I wish I rolled it out to see what it really looked like. They also had this nice selection of curtain rods and this is always a great way to save money if you're making over a space. Find thrifted things like this that could cost a lot more elsewhere and find it at the thrift store. When you're 
thrifting, also check out their book selection and see if you can find some good hardcover books to style shelves. This whole huge book is $1.50 and it's actually a recipe book. Look at the old book section. These ones are 50 cents and you can get a pile of them to really fill up your bookcases and style your home. I am so glad I checked out multiple locations today. This one was amazing. Let's head home and I'll show you guys what I got. I would consider this quite a successful thrifting day. You definitely have to hop around to different locations because some stores have nothing and then some stores have it all. So definitely check out different areas that always helps when you're spending your day thrifting. But I'll show you guys what I got. First unique piece, I just love finding lighting at the thrift store. This sconce was $4.99. And I love this because it's actually a plug-in sconce. So I don't have to do any hard wiring. You pretty much just screw it into the wall. I think this would look really nice spray painted like black or even just a different tone of gold. This is a fully functioning wall sconce. There's literally nothing wrong with it. You can use whatever kind of light bulb you want. You could have a really big one, maybe even an Edison bulb to make it really stylish. I love that it can sit like this and then go and fully extend. So don't look past the lighting section if you're going thrifting. Check out all the lamps, all the light fixtures because you could get a really good deal there and add some new lighting to your home. Another thing I picked up was this huge vase. And you know, I actually really like this color. I think this is really cool, but I bought it for the shape and the size of it. I could see painting this or spray painting this, even using something like this, like a spray paint limestone finish so it looks looks a little bit more organic and less shiny and green. This is definitely being used in an upcoming makeover. I'm so excited. I love that it's substantial and big. So if you're looking for something similar, maybe want to do a DIY project on a big vase like this, you can look past the color, look past the finish of it because you can change that up, refinish it, and it no longer has to be green. All right, another thing from the glass department was this jar. And jars are always something that are perfect to get from the thrift store. You can clean them up, you can use them for organizing, for decorating. I think they're really, really functional. So I got this jar with this lid for $3.99 and I think this would be really nice for either like a very classic cookie jar. I feel like it has the perfect shape for that or using something like this for like my Tide Pods, my dryer balls, things like that. I also picked up these two candle holders and I think these are so pretty. The wood tone of them is exactly what I was looking for for this next makeover. It matches different wood finishes that I have going on in the space. So these these are gonna work perfectly and they were $1.99 each. So you can just put your little stick candles in there and look how cute that looks. I love the shape of these, has a really classic look to it and I could just see these styled on a mantle, a console table, a dining room table. They just look so classic and elegant and traditional. You could also paint these because they are wood. You can pretty much paint anything from the thrift store but these would be really nice even painted black or a really pale pastel color. How cute would that be? I also picked up these two wooden bowls and this one was a dollar and this one was $3. And I think, again, these are perfect for decorating, for organizing, for even just eating. You could put little nuts in here, little snacks, use them as jewelry holders, use them in your junk drawers to organize small things or use them for styling shelving. So don't look past the small things like this. You can definitely use them around your home and get them at a really, really great price. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know this is always something I suggest picking up from the thrift store, and that is a basket. Because the baskets at the thrift store are very, very affordable, and there's always really unique styles. So I think you can never have enough baskets. You can use them for everything, storage, organizing, decorating, 
moving things around the house. I just love having them on hand. So this one was $4 and I really like the shape of it. It matches my candlesticks so I could see these happening in the same space. So if you see baskets like this the next time you're at your thrift store, I highly recommend picking them up. They're decorative, they're functional, and there's a million reasons to use a basket. All right, and the last few things I picked up from the thrift store were actually children's books. And I picked these up for my niece and nephews. They always are looking for new books and these ones were 50 cents. So you can't beat that. I got a Mickey book, a Cinderella book, Thomas the Tank Engine, and another Mickey book, and they're all hardcover books. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along, thrifting with me today, and seeing what's in stores. I hope it gave you some inspiration to take on some DIY projects, buy thrifted furniture, reimagine some pieces. It's always one of my favorite places to go for inspiration and saving money. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite piece from today's video was. Was it anything I picked up? Was it anything that you saw in stores? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel for the upcoming makeovers. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!